Part 1. Hagen does and Mine Lab. Let me break down some science for you. If I took a blindfolded taste test of ice cream, I would know Hagen does right away. It's that good. It's got that quality to it that other ice creams don't. Makes me, whenever I try Briars, don't like it. And before we get on to the hardcore metal detecting thesis that I'm going to throw at you, I just want to publicly state that haagen Cherry Vanilla is the nectar of the gods. Now, about four months ago, I bought a Nocta Macro Amphibio Multi metal detector, and it has given me some pleasant surprises, such as I have pulled a 16-inch target yeah, under the right conditions, and I stress under the right conditions. I'm glad that I bought it. It is, uh, it's been a learning experience. Today, in the video that you are about to see, I switch detectors with Jonathan Mejia. He swings a MineLab Equinox 600. And I felt like I was trying haagen ice cream. Introduce you guys first. I'm here with my friends. Hey, how you doing? Jonathan, Dennis, and Marilyn. And today we are doing a detector switch. I'm really excited. I, I'm doing the uh, Equinox today. And uh, Jonathan's taking my uh, a Beach Hunter. Sweet. And... Uh, really excited about this one. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get you all set up. That's probably me. So the first thing you want to do is just noise cancel. Really easy. You go okay. to click the settings and the first is noise cancel. Just click up. Sorry. Settings, noise cancel, and then the check minus. It takes two seconds. Probably a bottle cap. Okay, and it's already set on beach two because that's the last one I had it on. Mm -hmm. So you're basically set to go. If you want to go into all metal mode, you click the, the I guess, horseshoe thing <laughs> and that lets you hear all the iron. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so if you go to, that's your ground balance right now. It's set at level, negative four, but this thing tracks the ground so, okay, so it, it auto, it'll auto ground balance oh that's awesome it automatically does it now here's the thing you need to know about the nocta macro if you're one of the people out there who loves driving a stick shift uh, in your vehicle if you like control of all of the gears or everything that's the detector for you if you're somebody that uh, wants something that's intuitive and easy to use and has multi-frequency instead of just picking and choosing one and customizing uh, the equinox is your better detector and now i've swung both if it's too loud the volume adjust 25 is the highest uh you could always lower it you know that but try it at 25 because sometimes it's hard to hear threshold level if you want it higher that's all that um to, for target tone i always set it two so you hear grunts and beeps yep uh, if you're comfortable with that, cool. If you want to hear more, you can set it up to five. So this goes from negative 10 to 40. So every 10 is a different beep, basically okay. every notch. These are high tones, these are iron to the left. Gold comes up around here, silver comes up around here. So my first impression swinging this thing is how light it is. It feels like a toy detector. It's bringing me all the way back. This is lighter than my Nocta. This is just super, super light. Uh, it's so ergonomically, it feels good. Well, not bad. First uh, real signal with this thing, it's a earring. I like it. This might be something good. It's like bouncing, like it's a chain or something. I'll spare you the drama with this signal. It was not a chain, but this shows off the uh, target separation. It was a bunch of pennies. Anything that's 20 or 21 is a, uh, a zinc penny. But there were a few in there. So take a listen. It, it does a really good job of separating close targets. It was just a zinc penny. Maybe there's another one here? Okay. I'm learning. Yep. Okay, this is a sign I got to buy this detector. Got a ring. Yeah, this is... Uh, 29, so probably... 29, so it's not gold. No. Gold will come out mm, below 20. Yeah. Cool, it might be silver. Yeah, it might be silver. Cool. That's in the silver range, so... 
Well, the good news is I get Taco Bell out of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I know what you're thinking, and you're probably correct. Most people who end up going for a test drive with the car, they end up buying the car. Now, I'm trying to curb my enthusiasm with this, but it was just so familiar with the Mine Lab that I owned before, which was the Mine Lab Safari. I used that for years. This is like stepping into a lighter version of that that is even more sensitive. Now, the Nocta I have had my battles with. I have pulled rings with it. I have pulled silver with it. I've used it for over a hundred hours now. And after one, after one hour, I was uh, pretty impressed with this uh, new detector. That's not mine yet. It's Jonathan's. It is? It is. So I've, I've dug like three or four signals mm -hmm. so far. Um, one is an earring, one is a ring. So I, I think it's karma's way of telling me that so I need to invest. I pulled out a ring with the Equinox. Uh, let's see, my eyesight's really good. So let's see if it has any markings. Ooh, it is marked 925. 925, good way to start the day. Silver ring for Merrill. What? His first day with the Equinox 600. And I have a feeling there's going to be many more days with yes. the Equinox. <laughs> you like it so far? Love it. Love it? Oh my god, this is what I should have gotten instead of the Nocta. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Hi, this is Merrill talking to you from the future. Three words. Wait for it. Just being blunt. Awesome. There's a pl there's a place for the Nocta mm -hmm. in my repertoire, I suppose. Yeah, it, but we it, do it, the parks later this year. Do the parks, yeah. super deep signals. Mm -hmm. It works for that. We but could go back to uh, that park that we were looking for the uh, amusement park. There you go. That would be good because you had gotten silver pretty deep. It's there. it's it's like my power left-handed reliever. But Sweet. I'm not going to start the game with him. No, I'm not. This is my starter. <laughs> cool. Lady Nocta has a temper. Wait for it. Jonathan's like, give it back. Uh, if you get the 800, it comes with wireless headphones. The headphones that come with these are not wireless. Cool. But yeah, that's basically one of the main differences. Ah, I, I don't know. I, I kind of like this as it is. And the other one... The 800 has two more frequencies as well. Do, uh, and a gold mode. So, do you think it's worth it? Um, I mean, you do prospecting. I do. So that gold mode would be great you know, for that if you're looking for nuggets and stuff. So... Yeah, but we're talking upstate New York here, yeah. I, I, you know. And the, the Nocta has a gold but mode, and I, I believe that one would be decent. This machine is known also for getting a lot of small, small earrings. So if you just can't find something, it's probably going through your scoop. That's happened to me many times. Wow. Like, like small, small earrings. Quarter. Nice, <laughs> I gotta get on that. Another quarter. Well, that sounds good. Let's pull it together. Oh, I saw this. I thought it was a um, a ring. No, it was a uh, quarter. To be fair, I got my first instance of a falsing signal with the, uh, the Mine Lab uh, Equinox. Uh, it uh, it wasn't a false. It's an iron signal, but it uh, and this was similar to what happened when I owned a uh, a Mine Lab Safari. It turned into a iron signal the closer that I got to it. So, to be fair, that's, uh, that's what happened. There's signs of droppage everywhere on the surface of the beach. Okay, this is crazy. This, uh, this detector finds tiny, tiny stuff. This, uh, I guess, was part of an earring. Yeah, you see the uh, thing that broke off here. Um, yeah, tiny. But it got it. So look at this. This is... A signal four five seven it's very similar to the last one that little earring wonder if it could be the uh, other one I'm gonna put this on the land I have a feeling that it's a very small signal all right so it's in this one I forgot my pinpointer Not in that scoop. Not in that scoop. All right, in my hand right now. Still in my hand. 
and I see it. It is a bobby, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, pin. That's impressive. This is a good detector. I think you are hiding something good. I'm on to you. Look at this. Let me reattach this. Look at this. This is in the gold range. I mean, could be a nickel, could be a pull tab. But I'm kind of excited about this one. So let's pull this together. Oh, it's one of these. <sighs> no wonder. This guy. That's how you die, man. These things will kill you. Now that actually was a good learning experience, though. Uh, the reason why, one thing that I struggle with with my uh, pulse induction uh, beach hunter is that pull tabs look and uh, bottle caps look exactly the same as rings. This one, you could hear a clear difference. So that, that's, a, that's a value right there. Uh, now that I have in my brain what that sounds like, I'll know, uh, I'll apply that in the future. Yeah, I'll be able to infer that. So 2021 on the scale seems to be zinc penny. We got some ice. It, it is mind blowing how good this is on the small signals. I don't know if uh, the Nocta would have picked, I don't think the Nocta would have picked that up in the salt water, no way. My beach hunter, maybe, I have found stuff like this. Uh, but this is clear as can be. Um, small signals can be like really convoluted on the on the uh, beach hunter. Ooh, th this is uh, this is awesome. Got another abnormal signal here. I just pulled up a dime right next to this, but it's like a uh, bleep bleep fast something in the gold range. It was just a mineralized rock. Another small signal. Seem to have it in my hand. Survey says, oh, I found another earring. This is crazy, look at this. More bling. Let's clean it up a little bit. Wow. This one's been in the uh, drink for a while. I think it's silver based on the color. It's got a nice stone. This is phenomenal. I think I got an old button. I'm gonna have to clean this one up. We got another quarter. Phenomenal signal right here. Let's dig this one together. Could be a nickel, could be gold. Well. Oh. Here we go. Number two. Ring number two today. Sweet. Don't think it's gold. Maybe gold plated. But I see the copper color coming through. No, right, we'll give it a closer look. Sweet. No, it wasn't. Uh, it's a little piece of uh, beach bling that is uh, decaying like crazy. 35 more cents towards my new mine lab. First nickel with the uh, mine lab. It was a solid 13. Right on the edge of the water here. Got a phenomenal signal. Seem to have it in the scoop.
What just happened? Okay, this is very strange and should be documented. I lost that signal. It was beep, beep, beep. And now it is gone. Somebody snagged it up. <laughs> Not really. I, I lost it. Or the machine lost it. All right, I'm going to care. For oh, I found it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, no wonder. This might be gold. I think it is. Wow. It's a little charm. Rings up just like gold. It sure has the color. I must have flung it when I scooped it. Another dime towards my new mine lab. And another quarter towards my new mine lab. Once again, this detector proves that it excels at small signals. Um, this is a broken part of an earring, but still gave a nice crisp signal. Easy to pinpoint, and I got it even in salt water. All right, so this is the deepest target that I've dug today. This is about seven inches down at the beach and it's ringing up like gold, so let's hope for the best. And, oh, I see it. It's an old buckle. Yeah, this hasn't been around for a long time, so we're getting old stuff at the beach. This is a darn good detector. Mm. So then I encountered a really complex signal, and uh, it seemed to be multiple objects in the hole. Okay, signal one is a charm, and I still got the thing down there. Maybe it's another part of this. All right, whatever it is, I got it. Oh no, I don't have all of it. Long story short, look at this huge, huge iron piece and how that did not mask the copper signals. You're gonna see me in a moment pull another one of those elephant charms out of this hole. Now what's interesting, this is ringing up as a four. In here we still have a 1617 and we found that little elephant charm. So let's keep digging this hole. All right, so the other part of it was another one of these elephants. I think this is the third elephant. Uh, one was the gold one, and now I question if that's gold, and uh, this one is copper. The other two were copper. <sighs> My guilt is hitting me. You look sad. <laughs> I haven't had a signal in a while. Do you want your baby back? <laughs> you can keep using it. That, that, that's the sense of duty of a friend right there talking. I think he wants his baby back. No, I've had a good day uh, already, so, you know, get with... Uh, switch back. <laughs> yeah. Part 2. Revenge of Lady Nocta. So, I'm back at uh, Coney Island with the uh, Nocta. And I want, to, uh, I want to do a comparison because uh, yesterday I had a, uh, a really good experience using the mine lab uh, that uh, Jonathan has, the Equinox. So we're giving uh, this one another shot and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So here's one problem I have with the uh, Nocta. It's not the target separation. Target separation is good. Got a quarter over here. I got a bottle cap over here. Now, not right now in what I showed you, but this was just showing as an 87, which is the same thing as this, so I dug it. Uh, and I have it in the uh, beach mode. It is uh, beach right now. I turned down the sensitivity. Um, ground balanced, it's at seven. So it just, you can't trust the signals. It gets everything. Um, I've found 52 cents so far in like 10 minutes, but I don't know. It just, it, the signals, the target ID is not trustworthy. And uh, I, I don't know. It just was so different yesterday uh, with, the, um, with the Equinox. 
Same problem. On the beach, this thing has a nose for garbage. <laughs> Just got another one. This one was a 73, thought it might be a penny, and uh, pulled this up. Another problem that I have is uh, aluminum foil, even this thin, um, it's ringing up just the same as nickels. Um, it's been similar on previous detectors, to be fair, and this is, uh, I mean, it's thin enough that um, on my Safari, it would have read it, read it differently, but uh, the target ID just is, uh, it has a lot to be desired on it. All right, so we got a deep signal here. Six inches down, which for any detector would be a deep signal. Let's see what we get. Well, got to give it some credit there. Got a rusty nail at six inches. Well, I'll be darned. Lady Nocta has uh, spoken. Again, but here's the problem. Next signal right after that. This rang up as an 87, same thing as a quarter. And then Lady Nocta starts putting on a show. Diamond. Hope so. Hope so, yeah. Diamond uh, uh, gold. That's platinum. No, it uh, might be. White gold. Could be. I don't know. It does yeah, see. It's uh, expensive. Yeah, it's got it's got an engraving in there. Yeah. Hinge, hinge. Yeah. But she will come. It's not that we come. Cool. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I might never sell a rap record, but. I just went platinum. Okay, well, <laughs> can't complain as much anymore, but same problem with the uh, quarters signal and the uh, target ID. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a good detector, clearly. I just, uh, maybe I'm just so used to mine lab. Listen to me trying to convince myself that this detector is bad. No, it is not a bad detector. The Nocta Macro Amphibio Multi is not a bad detector. It is a genius detector. Perhaps I'm not a genius, and that's the problem. So I'm heading to the wet, uh, and I'm picking stuff up. Now, you might remember from previous videos, I really struggled in the wet with this detector, and uh, I want to see if that's still the case. Keep in mind, the uh, rings that I found, they were both in the dry section of, um, within the uh, two tide lines, but uh, within the dryer section so let me let me test this out well no problem got a key all right I, i'm just uh <laughs> i was so close to putting that video out uh yesterday about the uh it, like you know basically saying this machine is horrible <laughs> i'm like let me give it one more chance oh lady nocta has spoken okay uh, <laughs> that's cool you're gonna see if it's real yeah <laughs> Thousands of dollars in Okay, let me hold on, say that again one time. Then she started showing off some more and sending me messages too. Oh, she's vicious. Yeah, I think she's getting mad at me. Knives and late razor blades. Yikes. Quarter at eight inches. Now she's showing off. So here's the difference. Look at how chattery the Nocta is. So we have reached the climax of this video. And you might have correctly pointed out that maybe I do not know enough about the Nocta. Part of the problem is the book. It is written for three different detectors, and yeah, it confused me, no doubt about it. It is not an intuitive detector, not one that you could just pick up and mess around with, play with, and get fast. You'll eventually get it the more that you use it. But believe me, I have hit YouTube, I have searched all I can for this detector. Now, here's the thing. I picked up the Equinox, and it was like swinging my Mind Lab Safari, but better. I, I needed to use that some more. So what I did was I invested in the Mind Lab Safari. This doesn't mean at all that I'm done with the Nocta Macro Amphibio Multi. Uh, it is the equivalent of taking a college class in metal detecting, because you learn what factors lead to 
the perfect signal or the perfect read of the ground. Uh, I've learned a lot from using it and messing around with it. By the way, I'm over 100 hours of using it. So if it was an intuitive detector, if it was easy, especially me being somebody that has done this for seven, almost eight years now, um, it, it's not an intuitive detector. Right? It's that, uh, that much is safe to say. It's a capable detector though. And what I have to do is learn more so that I am better at using it. But again, what I want is a detector that is a workhorse. Um, I plan on using the Equinox. I bought the Equinox 600 and I plan on cycling in and out both detectors. I want to learn. I also want to enjoy what I'm doing. And I've gotten frustrated. It, it, the uh, Nocta is a magnet to garbage and it teases you because it pulls those super deep signals when the conditions are perfect and when you have it set up perfectly. But you know what? I'm not going to walk 50 yards, uh, say up a beach from the wet to the dry and then re-ground balance and re... It's, it's high maintenance. It's a high maintenance detector. Who knows? Now, the unknown is that the um, Equinox, I used it once. Jonathan set it up for me. And maybe there's more to learn with that. But I'm telling you, it was like walking into familiarity. I was so familiar with uh, everything that I was seeing. It was just a beautiful thing. But stay tuned. Uh, I want to be able to do a actual comparison of detectors from owning them and using them uh, for many hours. And next, I think, is the XP Deus. Uh, I certainly, uh, you know, don't want to spend that amount right now. But, you know, perhaps within the next 365 days, uh, that's the next detector that I would like to get. Because, you know, I'm not a salesman on the showroom floor. I'm somebody that is a user. And there's no bias. You know, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't pitch Nocta products. I don't pitch mine lab products and so forth. I really want to find out which one is the best detector. I want to be a detecting connoisseur. So that's the plans in the future. Uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, subscribe to this channel. Um, I want to give you valuable information and, uh, you know, whether it's for buying a detector or uh, with the uh, top 500 list of channels on YouTube. If you haven't seen that, I got a link to it right up here. You know, we're going to do some, uh, hopefully you agree, innovative stuff on this channel. So anyway, thank you so much. And uh, uh, new videos coming very soon.